everyone, so it is the end of the month again, which means that it is time for my monthly faves. If you are not aware of my monthly fave videos, I list five of my favourite things from the previous month um, and just give a little bit of details about them. So we are nearing the end of January, uh, so I will be talking about my five favourite things from then. So the first one should come as no surprise to anyone, it is a new plant. So this plant is, I mean, I'm going to butcher the pronunciation, uh, Dracaena. Um, I think it translates like to dragon tree or something. I, I thought it was really pretty because look, like, look at these leaves. They just, they have these really pretty white stripes. <laughs> and it was only three pounds from Aloka, so um, I've named it Gwen. Sure for Guinevere. No idea why, I just really wanted to call a plant Guinevere. <laughs> And I think, I think she looks like a Gwen. So, meet Gwen. The second favorite thing from January is something from Lush. <laughs> um, so I was in desperate need of a moisturizer. It's really cold in England at the moment and my skin has been very dry. And I went for this one called Cosmetic Lad. So it's, I think it's like, Aimed at men, it, it says you don't have to be a lad to use this, but it helps. Uh, Multi-purpose lavender, wheatgrass, and marigold cream for shaving and moisturizing. So I I looked at the reviews because I was just looking through them all, and this one had a lot of comments from people who dealt with acne and had acne scars, and I was like, well, I've you know I get the occasional acne. I've suffered from acne, and. Yeah, I do get the occasional spots and they just do not go. And I only got it a few days ago. And it could just be bad well, great timing, but my skin has been so much better. I was dealing with quite a bit of a breakout. I had like three spots here, two here and then one here, and they just, they were persistent. And I mean, you can still probably see them, but they're not as bad as they were. And I got this and they really quickly started healing. I don't know if it's got anything to do with this at all. It could just be luck, but it could be this. So my skin feels so soft. The third favorite thing from January is Slide Me House. So if you have not seen one of my previous videos, I think at this point it should be about three or two videos all behind. Um, I went to a country house called Sledmere House and the house itself was not open but they had open gardens and usually for an adult you'd pay about £9 to, en um, to enter but at the moment they had them open for free. Don't know why it could be because it's winter and you know gardens they're not as pretty in winter you don't get all the flowers and things so maybe that's why it was open but I've got no idea. I took a lot of really nice pictures and videos um, so if you haven't seen that video uh, I will leave a link in the description, I will leave a card up here, so hopefully you can just go to that whenever you need to. Um, but yeah, it was really, really pretty, really calm. Um, there weren't too many people there, it was pretty busy, but like, because the garden was so big, you didn't need to worry about not being able to get any of it. So, that was really good. Um, I have no idea how long it's going to be free for, but if you do have the opportunity to go, I highly recommend it, and in spring I'm sure it's a lot better. Fourth thing I will mention, and with an E! Uh, so, and with an E is a Netflix TV show, um, it has three seasons, it's just been cancelled, so they will not have a fourth season out, but it was so good. It's based on the book Anne of Green Gables, uh, a classic. So if you were a fan of kind of classic things, then I highly recommend Anne with an E. Uh, cast is really good, the story is really good, and it focuses a lot on modern issues, which is it's weird for a, such an old style um, TV show, but it focuses on like uh, sexism, LGBT, racism. It really hits hard on these things, and it kind of... I mean, I've never read Anne of Green Gables, I don't really know the story, and I think this deviated from the book quite a bit, but I think overall it's still got the general story, but yeah, those things, I don't think they're in the original book, but if you are like a fan of historic things, but also really like um, 
modern issues and things like that, then I highly recommend Anne with an E. I do think it is only on Netflix, I could be wrong. Uh, don't quote me on that. But the show has won awards. It's a good show, everyone really loves it. Okay, and the fifth and final thing from January that I really enjoyed, which is another very me topic, is going to historic places. Uh, if you do not follow me on Instagram, at little underscore bumblebee, I post a lot of historic sites. Um, I think it adds a lot of character to places. And because I lived in New Zealand for 13 years, we do not have history. You, you're probably lucky if you get something from like the 1800s. That is the end of this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Comment in the comments down below what your favorite things from January have been. Uh, the first month of the decade. <laughs> really weird. We're in a new decade. Yeah, and tell me how your 2020 is going so far. I don't know if it's really far enough into the year to actually have an opinion on it, but if you do, then yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe if you're new and want to stay updated, and remember to click that bell button so that you're notified whenever I post new content. But yeah, that is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.